Hello, I'm Jim Mertens and it is Monday, December 4th. Here's a look at the top stories from your trusted local news source. An eighth grade student at Prairie Point Middle School in Cedar Rapids has died after a crash Friday night in Cedar Rapids. The school's principal sent out a letter to parents saying Baruch Mahari and his mother died in that crash. Police say the crash happened just before 10 Friday night on C Street Southwest near Edison Road. This is video from a TV9 viewer and you can see flames coming from one of the vehicles and people trying trying to pull the victims out. Mahari and three others died in the crash. Police have not explained how the crash happened, nor who the other two victims are. A GoFundMe page does identify Mahari's mother, Ruth Zudi Takesti, as one of the other victims. It says they moved to Cedar Rapids from Cairo, Egypt, almost 10 years ago. Prairie Point said it would have counselors available for students dealing with the loss. Once again, police have not released the name of the other two victims. A judge sentenced a man convicted of attempting to murder a Cedar Rapids officer to 62 years in prison. Brandon Nelson originally faced 80 years behind bars. On July 30th of last year, Nelson got into a chase with police officers, which ended in the 2200 block of Glass Road Northeast. And during the chase, he drove head on toward an officer's vehicle. Police say once the chase ended, he then fired a shotgun at those officers. And that's when the officer shot at him until he fell to the ground. He had three gunshot wounds. The officers were not hurt. Nelson apologized in court on Monday. I made a lot of mistakes that night. And uh, I don't know. I I had no intent to hurt anyone that night, but I still put a lot of people's lives in danger that night without realizing it, and I had absolutely no right to do so. And I realized I understand that completely, and I definitely deserve a decent amount of prison time for what I did. The officers who Nelson shot at and who gave him medical attention on the scene also gave victim impact statements. And I want him to remember it every day, just like I do. I want him to remember so he can think about his actions that it caused all of us, my family, Blair's family, our CRPD family, and even Brandon's family, because like it or not, he also made them victims. But most of all, I want Brandon to think about the night we met and how close his selfish actions came to killing a police officer, a father, a husband, and a friend. The judge said that Nelson's prior charges, along with his alcohol and mental health challenges, warranted the 62-year prison sentence because the judge says Nelson still poses a risk to the public. That's your TV9 update. Tune into TV9 and KCRG.com for the latest updates as well as breaking news.